Hey guys, Buddha Spread here, back with another video today. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. This is the Ben Thomas Complete from Grit. It's brand new. Um, it's not the aftermarket ones. This is a separate thing. It's like a whole new complete. I have no idea what I'm looking at today. I don't know what it looks like. They wouldn't let me open the box before I actually opened the box, which is strange for an unboxing, isn't it? Never open a box before you uh, open open the box, right? Okay, cool. Let's open this boy, ba bad boy. <laughs> Bars. Cool. Cardboard, cool. Cardboard, cool. Tools, cool. The wheels are blue. Whoa, okay. They told me there was a surprise element and I see what that is. It's obviously the wheels. Wow, okay, we'll start with the bars. This is very hard to do with one hand. You know, the last time I was here, I really struggled opening these packages as well. Right here we've got the bar, this is the Ben Thomas Signature Battle Bar, it's got his nice little uh, graphic up on the top here, they're super duper light, like what is going on with that? So lightweight. We've got a blue double clamp on the bottom there, 6mm bolts, that's really good to see. And uh, the handlebar grips up the top, they're nice and sturdy, we've also got some blue bar ends that go nicely with the clamp, that's really cool. Can't get over how light they are man, really really nice. This graphic, from what I remember, Ben actually has a tattoo of this graphic or something similar. But yeah, he's rocking that on the deck as well. So speaking of the deck, let's grab that one out, shall we? All right, and here we've got the deck. Now, I think the best thing about this is the wheels. Like, the colorway is sick. We've got, like, gum urethane with blue cores. Never seen anything like that. And it's so, so solid, so lightweight. It feels really good. Deck is a two-tone black on the head tube down to silver on the back, and you can see there's the Ben Thomas graphic on the bottom as well. It's running IHC compression, so the bars are standard to oversized because they are aluminium bars, and so that so, yeah. that's why they're so super lightweight. We've got the Nico integrated headset with the compression system, the grit forks, which are fully integrated, obviously, and run 110s. Are these 120s or what? Come to the conclusion that yes, these are 110s and the scooter just looks really nice. I'm gonna chuck the bars on, see how it looks as a complete and we'll go from there. So here it is as a complete. I really like it. I dig the color scheme. I've never seen like gum with blue. Plus the two-tone deck looks really great. The grip tape's really solid, nice and grippy. And it's got the boxed front end so you can do lots of blunt tricks and stuff like that. It's super lightweight. I've picked it up and it's super duper light. I can't even explain it. It's just crazy. Like aluminum bars and the deck is just great. 110s, not 120s. I'm not really a 120 person, so I'm definitely feeling the 110s in this one. But yeah, my favorite thing definitely is the color scheme. I'm loving the wheels. They look really, really great. Definitely very nice graphics as well from Ben. And it just looks like a great scooter. So if you want to cop one, you know where to find them. Scooterheart.com.au or there's plenty of other retailers around the world. This has been Scooter Brad at the Grit HQ here in Melbourne, Australia. And this is the Ben Thomas Grit signature complete scooter so if you want to cop on definitely do that follow all the grit social medias to my left right here you can also check me out on instagram twitter youtube all that good stuff subscribe for more content just like this and uh drop a fat thumbs up on this video if you did end up enjoying it today it's been your boy sb i'll see you guys in a little while peace out have a great day but behind closed doors i'm a fool for your love